everyone, my name is Sharice. If you're new, if you're not new, uh, thank you for clicking on another video. So today's video is going to be a 30 week pregnancy update video. I am so out of breath. Whew. Wow. <laughs> um, I don't really plan on doing one of these every week. Um, maybe like every few weeks until I give birth so we can see like what's going on. I am currently 30 weeks and 6 days, which means I will be 31 weeks tomorrow um, on October, Tuesday, October 20th. Um, so yeah, my weeks change every Tuesday, if you wanted to know. So I had a growth scan um, last week, Friday, and then today, which is Monday, I had a um, like a regular schmegular OB appointment. So everything was fine at my growth scan, um, like the things that they were worried about, like the baby possibly having a opening in her um, in her spine or an opening in her, her tummy region. Um, those are all fine. She doesn't have any of those issues. She's growing properly. All of her organs and her little fingers and toes and everything look the way they're supposed to look. Um, it's always interesting watching when they're doing like the measurements because it'll like make your due date change all crazy. So the lowest due date that I saw was the 5th of December and that that was just based on one of the the measurements that they took took um they're supposed to like take all of the measurements into consideration um at the end to see if your due date needs to change or not mine doesn't um she most likely is going to be a little chunky baby the guesstimate is that currently she is four pounds um but that's just a guesstimate it can be under by a pound or over by a pound um so as of like right now, they're not really too worried about me having a, a super big baby with the gestational diabetes and stuff. So fingers crossed. Avery was six pounds, five ounces, four or five ounces. Um, so this baby is most likely going to be a little bit bigger than that, but um, they're not saying she's going to be too, too big. And then my OB today, she was like... Don't even worry about the guesstimates. It doesn't mean anything. Um, so that's cool. I'm going to like briefly touch on weight things. So if that's like a triggering situation for you, maybe skip the next minute or so. Um, but my current weight is a hundred, a hundred. Well, my current weight is 214 pounds and like some ounces, who cares? Um, my starting weight was actually around 206. And then with me being so sick during the first and second trimester, I dropped down as low as 190. So obviously I've gained that weight back plus a little bit which it is what it is like my body's just gonna do what it needs to do for this particular baby um I'm not too worried about it I this is the heaviest I've ever weighed 214 and I'm like at the stage of my life where I'm not gonna cry over my weight like it's just not something that I'm personally going to do. So um, we'll see how that goes. Um, maybe I'll talk about my weight later on in my pregnancy and then maybe a little bit postpartum, but I don't think it's gonna be a thing where I'm talking about like weight loss and all that because I truly do not give a fuck. Ooh, deliveries. I'm expecting a delivery so um as far as pregnancy symptoms um the nausea has for sure come back um it's kicking my behind and indigestion is killing me like anytime I eat anything unless I'm eating like a little bird if I eat anything I'm like oh disgusted and feeling like I need to like throw up um so I've been eating a lot of lemons like lemons really help clear out my my tummy a little bit and so I'm not so um like stuffed feeling 
Um, emotionally, I'm all over the place. I had like a whole 30 minute cry before I even filmed this video. I just feel so overwhelmed um, with like just anything, anything and everything between like my anxiety and then the pregnancy hormones. I can't catch a break and everything like <laughs> everything irritates me. I'm basically over this pregnancy. I'm so over this pregnancy. I'm ready for December to come. Um, other than that, I don't think there's anything too crazy. I'm going to show you guys my stomach. Oh, today um, at my appointment, I got my little prescription to get my breast pump. So I did order my breast pump today. I actually got my prescription at my last appointment, but I lost the paper. Like loose papers in this house just, I feel like, get thrown away. And then um, I also stopped by the administration office at the hospital so I can get like the birth certificate and all that started um, for the baby. I'm going to turn that in at my next appointment, which I think my next appointment is the 16th of November. Yeah, my next OB appointment is the 16th of November, and then my next growth scan for the baby is the 20th of November. They wanted me to wait for my next growth scan until the 2nd of December, and I was like, can't do that. I don't want to wait to see the baby, basically, um, until December, so I was like, nope. Book me for November, okay? Book me for November. Um, so yeah, I don't want this video to be too long. I'm going to stand up so you can see the tummy and we are going to get out of here. Okay, so obviously I am in my underwear. Whatever. So this is what we are looking like at 30 weeks, almost 31 weeks. I feel like this is how big my belly was when I was giving birth to Avery so yeah I definitely feel like I'm stretching already I feel like my, my skin stretching um I don't think I have any new stretch marks besides my like butt crack L like literally my butt crack <laughs> um but yeah all the like stretch marks and stuff that you see now are stretch marks that I had from Avery um and then I have my stretch marks here and stuff but where is it a few of these stretch marks were from puberty so and stretch marks isn't a thing that bothers me either it is what it is like that's what your body does so yeah if you're not already subscribed please subscribe and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up so more people can see it and i will see you in the next video bye